what a mess, what a mess. I know, this really is not the usual scene I'm shooting my videos. There is a very nice reason for all of this mess here that you can see, but that's what you get when you have two small kids, two boys. Guys, today I saw there is an application called ProShot, right? So this application ProShot claims to be the most powerful camera app in the world. And what took my attention, it cost usually 5 euro, right, or like 6 dollars, but today and tomorrow it's free, right? So today you're able to download this application for free, today and tomorrow, right? So if you're watching this video tomorrow, you only get one day, but if you're watching it today, you have two days to download it. So make sure to subscribe to my channel, guys, and hit this bell icon, whatever, so you don't miss videos like this. All right, I'm going to open the application ProShot, right? Claims to be the best camera app, but I've heard so many times camera application be the best, right? So yeah, it's gonna be really a tough crown to give. I'm gonna open this and try to review this together with you guys. Okay, welcome to ProShot, require permission, camera, okay? Let's allow it, microphone, photos, also location, why not? Okay, put only like this. I like the way, by the way, it starts. Um, yeah, this here, the whole design and the way it asks for the permission is quite nice. All right, fluid, I would say, pro shot. Now there is a video tutorial, when you click on this, you're gonna get a dedicated to the video, but it, this is for the old version, right? And then you have a user manual, but I'm gonna press done right now. And you're gonna be starting the application for the first time. Now let me flip my phone. This is usually how a camera application will look like, but ProShot claims to have some unique features. They call it like the dual driver or dual dial system, right? So if you press here, guys, you're gonna see all your modes ready to photography. So right now we have the auto mode where the white balance, the shutter speed, and the ISO are automatically chosen. And here you can choose also timers, right? So quite nice, I would say. Then you have a program mode where you can manually adjust the exposure, the ISO, the white balance, and the flash. And you can also program your timer. Then you have a manual mode, right? You can also try to adjust shot exposure, ISO, white balance, and flash, and then you have some custom modes. So let me just show you guys. If we go to the auto mode, right, and we just click the shutter button, boom, here we have a picture. How can we preview the picture? Click here, you're gonna see the picture, right? Go back with only one swipe. Now, how are we able to zoom? It's very easy, you just hold your finger like this, you see? This really is a bit more unique because on um, most of the smartphone cameras you need to use like double fingers like pinch to zoom. Here with only one finger you are able to indeed zoom, right? And by the way guys, here, can you see here we have the shutter or the exposure time setting which is very useful when you're shutting some um, fast scenes or you want to capture you know, something without blur. Then here we have the ISO which is selecting the light sensitivity so you know how it goes, right? The less ISO you're using, the less noise will you get in your pictures. The more ISO you pump, right, the brighter your photo will become, but then of course you're gonna get a bit more noise. And last but not least, we have the white balance adjustment. So see here, you can go from incident sand to fluorescent to daylight and really adjust your photo according to what you wanna get in the result, okay? So this is done here with this dialer. Now something about the focus, guys, right? You can select somewhere and just point to focus, right? If you will want to get back to our focus, just tap here and this is gonna go away, right? Let me just see, now I'm gonna try to focus on the track, okay? See, the focus is on the track. Let's say I wanna focus here on my recorder, the focus now is on the recorder. If I wanna go back to out of focus, I can just click inside. If you click down here, gonna be your focus settings. So right now we have the auto. If you wanna go full macro, right, you can slide up here just to this macro button, then you're gonna see, boom, a macro photo, right? If you wanna go back to auto focus, you just press here auto, MF stands for manual focus, and you have also indefinite focus if you wanna shoot some very nice landscape and etc. right? So I would say focus system quite nice, right? You have the point to focus like this or that, right? See here, focus on the phone, focus on the bus, click inside, boom, you have auto focus. And there is also, guys, this dial down below. If you click this dial down below, you're gonna get some more settings, right? So you have settings for the photos, you have also settings for the video. And this is where it gets interesting, because you see here right now we can select the quality. So right now I go to HQ+, where I have 56 megabits, I can also click low quality, which is 11 megabits. Let's just go to 4K, right? 4K is already 40 megabits per second. If I go to HQ, 75 megabits, HQ+, is 175 megabits. And we know that a lot of the 
Smartphone cameras, the stock ones, have some limitations on the bandwidth, right? You can also try to enable the EES. If you go to video hack, you probably can modify some of the other settings. Now, for 4K, we only stack 30 FPS, but if we go 1080p, you can go up to 60 FPS and use also high quality, and high quality is gonna be 106 megabytes, right? And um, that's actually quite nice. Uh, you can also choose 24 FPS. Let me just try to do 24 FPS because this is a bit more cinematic, right? Oh, okay, yeah, I think it works, right? And you see, by the way, this here is your audio level and etc. Here, this is your codec. This is quite, quite nice. Let me just stop that one. I want to preview this video. I want to make sure that this actually captures video. Right. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. not bad. Let me just now go back. I'm going to go to 1080p and I'm going to choose 60 FPS with a high quality. So let me just do another video. All right, 60 FPS, high quality, okay? And we know that we are shooting with more than 100 megabits, which is actually quite good. Click the dial here. You have also settings for slow motion. You can also choose FPS here well, from 100 to 120, okay? On 1080p, you can go to 120. Slow hug, but it doesn't really work. No, you cannot go more than 120. And then you have here light painting, right? If you are up to this. And then, of course, also time lapse. From here, you can change up the format, like 60 by 9, 4 by 3, all the standard stuff. It seems to be quite all working in my case. And here from the settings, you can go, you can choose the resolution, 8 megapixels right you can go to megapixel you have several types of grids by the way you can just see them right now here okay and you have here noise reduction on and off you have JPEG which is I think the JPEG quality let's always go to 100 okay then here you have the audio level down below you have the OIS so you have a button to enable the optical image stabilization which is quite quite nice what is this here whoops can modify system setting let me just see what happens if we use this option all right let's go back here Okay, so now we can modify system settings. That's not bad at all. Guys, you can also use RAW. Like if you click here on the JPEG, you can select RAW or you can select indeed RAW and JPEG. So if I take a picture, I'm gonna have both. What happens if we go back and select the video? Okay, let's just go select the video because I'm interested into the codec. Right now we have H264, but if you wanna save some space, you can go to H265. And let me just see some of the settings, right? Still we can do 1080p 60. 4K only limited to 30, right? Video hacks, again, I think for the frame rate, no. But guys, it is what it is. I really hope you have, you have enjoyed this video. Again, this camera is free today and tomorrow, right? You don't lose anything, so just go download it. If you don't like it, just delete it, but it will always be free for your account. If you like videos like this, thumbs up. You might want to consider subscribing for my channel, which is deeply appreciated. Please, you and your family stay safe. VST, over and bye.